Ayo, 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 ayo. Cross Beats Production. What's going on? You're here with Nate Twait, and this is Cross Beats Production. So I want to show you this little neat plugin, and basically what it is, it's a side chaining uh, plugin in essence. Um, that's pretty much all it does. Uh, but what it what it does, it does well. So pretty much it's made by Waze Factory, as you can see here, and the plugin is actually called Track Spaces. So what it's really good for is creating clarity in the mix. And what I've found in using it in this short period that I've had it is that it really does help in getting the extra clarity out of your mix and sort of side chaining different frequencies out of the way. Um, it's not to say that you can't do that with a standard compressor because you most definitely can do side chaining. Obviously with the stock compressor in Studio One, it's very possible to do that sort of stuff. Um, and the stock one actually does have a lot of features on it. So by all means, you don't need this plugin. It's not a necessary thing, but it is something nice if you have the extra, I guess, I think it's 59 euro to buy this plugin. The extra 59 euro, uh, don't know what that converts into USD, but whatever it converts to, probably $60 or $70 or whatever it is. Um, if you have the extra money to, to, to you know, buy plugins like this, then it does help speed up the process of your mixing. Um, what I've found in using this is that in pushing kicks out of the way, or sorry, I should say bass out of the way of the kick, um, even pushing the snare out of the way of the guitar or vice versa, um, allowing the vocal to come through in the mix, it definitely helps in doing that. Now, I'm going to play a section of this mix just in a moment, but what I want to do is, is explain how this plugin works. So basically it has two functions. So it's got one function in this, this panel here, the advanced panel. So it's got one function being left and right. Uh, one function in mid side. So the three dials that you can see here, one of the, the main dial is pretty much the amount of um, side chaining that you want to occur. This dial here is a frequency from 20 to 20, so obviously the human hearing spectrum, and the same thing on this side here as well. So when you split from left and right to mid side, this is the mono channel and this is the sides. So basically the plugin is really handy when you want to get, you know, your kick to go through the mix and really just punch through and push the bass out of the way just like you would with sidechain. It works fantastic on vocals, but I guess the difference between this plugin and a standard compressor is the amount of bands that this has. So it works similar to the way that a dynamic EQ would work, um, but this has 32 bands of frequency there. So it, it pretty much allows it automatically behind the scenes to, to pick up where the frequencies are and it does what it does really well. So. Let me play it on the mix and show you what it sounds like with it, and then I'll play it without it. There's not a drastic difference, but there is a little bit of extra clarity if you pay attention to that in the mix that you wouldn't ordinarily have if you didn't do side chaining. So let me get straight into the mix and I'll just play it and I'll show you what this looks like in its functioning mode. Okay, so what I'll do is just go to the section of the track where I know it's got a lot of kicks and bass and stuff like that, and I'll exaggerate the actual plugin to show you kind of the pumping effect that it could create. Uh, this could be beneficial if you're looking for the pumping effect within your mix. You know, for example, you want to get the pumping of a synth or whatever to go through your mix, um, but this really, really cool plugin. Let's just go and exaggerate it and see what it sounds like. Okay, so it's pretty much what it is. It does it well. Um, I really think that stuff like this is more or less just to speed up your workflow. 
Um, I found that using this plugin definitely helped me in getting a little bit of extra clarity in the mix, um, whereas I would have had to set up the compressor and do all that sort of stuff with the compressor in that fashion. Um, in Studio One, side chaining is really easy to do anyway, but I mean, this, this plugin just adds a little bit of extra time saving. Um, so in that regard, if you're working on mixes and you want to get clarity really quickly um, and you want to experiment, this thing does it really well. So hopefully you guys um, like this, this uh, video and this tutorial. And if you did, remember to hit that like button and make your comments below about this plugin if you're using it, if you're not, what you think about it and all that good stuff. And also remember to, to subscribe to the channel as well and hit the Liberty Bell or whatever you want to call it um, so you get notifications for the updates and videos that come out on this channel. So uh, as usual, I'll catch you guys in the next one and peace out.